Now, in our topic on mathematical induction, what we need to do is a, a lot of algebraic manipulation. So what we want to have a look at is just some prerequisites that we really need to be able to follow and do. Um, with these questions, some of them, the first few are pretty easy. And what we're looking at doing is just showing that two expressions are equal to one another. And that's what it would, we're, we're going to involve. A lot of time, though, like, We've started with the right-hand side and showing the left-hand side's equal, but what we want you to do is get a familiarization around the idea that 2k plus 3 could be expressed in this form. Uh, more like going on the left-hand side the right-hand side, but we're showing that from the right-hand side, expanding it out and collecting like terms that is equal. But what we're going to be looking to do in a lot of the, the top, this topic is to show that something like 2k plus 3 can be expressed in that form, because we, we want to prove that it's equal to that. So and, and our statement's going to be true. So what we want to look at, make sure we can get this familiarization that we can express 3k plus 4 as 3k plus 1 plus 3, plus 3 plus 1, and then factorize that 3 out. So we, we decompose the 4 into a 3 plus 1. So because that's 3k, and we're going to factorize the 3 out. So we need to be able to do that, this sort of process to go backwards more than staying with our right hand side and because we're going to have this and we want to end up like that. So realize the factorize to get a 5k plus 1 and, and a lot of times that's, you know that's what you want to get to from that. We're factorizing a 5k out so we decompose a 7 into a 5 plus 2 and be able to play with it. Other factorizations we're going to do in this, in this topic is dealing with the factorization of fractions and fractions from whole numbers. So in again, we, we know a lot of times we're going to try and get this statement to be equal to this. And to show that it be equal to this, we, we again, we look at what's common. In our left hand side, we've got a k plus 1 that's going to be common, we, and that's going to be able to get that out. We've got the th one third that we want to factorize out, but the third's not common. We've really only got the one in front. So what we've got to realize is, if we factorized one third out here, it's not going to be a problem for this term. But what happens if we factorized one third out of this statement? So, and again, we're looking at the idea, we've factorized the k plus one out. So that's come out. We factorized the third out from the first part, and that's just going to leave us the k. So that's our, the first term, it's only left with the k there. What happens when we factorize one third out of, th out of one? Well, so basically, well, how many times does one third go into one? And that would be three times. So if we again, if we expand this back out, we get back to this. So one third times the three gives us the one. We factorize k plus one out as well, and all we're left with is the k plus two. And then we can clean up our bracket here by expanding the three k plus two to give us the three k plus six, collecting our terms to give us our right hand side. But what we need to do more and more is to factorize a fraction out. So again, we're going to get our left hand side to our right hand side. A k is already common, so we can factorize that out. And we want to get a half out the front. We've got a half here. We haven't got a half here. We've got one. So half goes into one twice. So that's going to leave us our factorization of a two inside the bracket when we take out the half. The half k comes out, leaves us a k plus one, leaves us the two from the one there, and a k plus one in this part. So again, expand our bracket, collect our terms, and we get down to the 3k plus 1. So it's about that manipulation that we want to see all the time here. Again, we want to factorize this left-hand side to give us something here. Again, our k plus 1 will factorize out. We want to get a quarter out this time. So a quarter goes into three quarters three times, and a quarter goes into one four times. So that's where we're left with a 3 in the bracket, and a 4, lots of the k plus 2 which expands, uh, expands and collects terms uh, and be able to get our uh, expression that we need there.